Welcome or welcome back to Artsy Island Girl Jamaican Vlogs. I'm Artsy and this is our development series where we focus on developments taking place in Montego Bay, Jamaica and across the world. We meet here every Sunday at 11am plus we do bonus videos within the week. This is a bonus video. If you're interested in these types of videos, don't forget to hit the like button, share, comment and subscribe. Now let's get into it. Number 1. In the upcoming fiscal year of 2024 to 2025, the Montego Bay Perimeter Road project has been granted a substantial sum of $10.2 billion for this fiscal year. The allocation is earmarked to bolster various crucial aspects of the project, including land acquisition and the construction of the Montego Bay and Long Hill Bypass Roads. Moreover, it will grease the wheels for the intricate planning stages essential for the Long Hill Bypass and the Barrett Street West Street Junction. Since its inception under the stewardship of NROC in 2019, the project has been steadfast in its mission to enhance safety for motorists, alleviate traffic congestion, and spur development. Significant progress has already been achieved with land acquisition nearing the 55% mark and preliminary investigations and designs well underway. As for construction milestones, the Montego Bay Bypass has reached a commendable 20% completion rate complemented by the planting of 8.6 hectares of trees to mitigate environmental impact. Looking ahead, the project's timeline extends until March 2028, and these resources will be pivotal in ensuring the successful realization of the project's objectives, benefiting both the commuters and the broader community alike. Number two. Now let's talk about a couple developments that may benefit from the Montego Bay Bypass. Remember the two construction developments in front of the Westgate Hills community that I've been tracking for some time now? Well, one is Ushore Warehousing, a 3.8 acre project at the front of Westgate Hills and the other is North Bank Logistics and Distribution Hub, which is a 100 acre project just across the street. Now, according to this Observer article, Anya Carr Jarrett, a co-founder and broker at boutique firm Catalyst Realty Advisors, is working on Ushore, a 3.8 acre project being done by renowned developer, Frederick Moore, who also did Fairview Shopping Center, which transformed retail in Montego Bay. And North Bank is being developed by Barnett Limited and will be constructed in eight phases. On their website, they describe it as a 100-acre multi-phase industrial development to provide logistical support to Montego Bay as the regional distribution hub for Western Jamaica, located along the Adelphi Road south of the Westgate Shopping Center. Included in this development is a 14-acre site Barnett Limited is donating for the Fairfield International Academy, a kindergarten through grade 12 private school with boarding, sports, and educational facilities. Number three, in 2024-2025, the Montego Bay Waterfront Protection Project will receive $500 million from the government to continue rehabilitating groins and preserving coastal resources. For some reason, I thought they were finished already. Oops. Managed by the UDC since 2019, the project aims to combat erosion until 2025. Progress includes the completion of Northern Groins by December 2023. And upcoming tasks for 2024-2025 involve finishing the Southern Groins protection structure and reinforcing the North Gully Wall. How about cleaning the North Gully also? Number four. Remember some time ago, they said we were getting a new area code? Well, in May 2023, the Office of Utilities Regulation, OUR, introduced the first 10,000 numbers 
under the 658 area code launched in 2018 to alleviate the strain on numbering resources. This expansion is crucial given the increasing reliance on communication devices such as smartphones and tablets, which require unique numbers. Both 876 and 658 area codes will be valid, followed by seven digits for each device or service i haven't met anyone yet with that error code and that explains why if you don't use a number in a long time you always lose it because they don't have enough numbers <laughs>